After the prosecution rested its case and the jurors left the courtroom, we heard from one of the defendants, William Bryan. After his defense attorney, Kevin Gall, filed a motion claiming that Bryan's rights to a speedy trial had been violated. Bryan told the judge that he has been at the Glenn County Jail for 18 months and that he is in protective custody for 23 hours a day. He says the rough and dirty conditions at the jail is impeding his right to a fair trial. The judge disagreed and that motion was denied. Meanwhile, after eight days of testimony and 23 witnesses, the prosecution rested its case, but not before the medical examiner testified about how Ahmad Arbery died. His parents were in the courtroom listening to the doctor testify, and unfortunately, they had to look at more pictures of their son's dead body. Jurors were shown graphic pictures of Ahmad Arbery's fatal wounds. All right, doctor, please state your name and spell it for the record. Dr. Edmund Donahue, a forensic pathologist, performed Arbery's autopsy. He testified Arbery was shot at three different times, but only two bullets struck his body. The first shot struck the middle of Arbery's chest and grazed his right wrist, causing severe bleeding. The last shot also struck Arbery's chest and his left armpit, hitting a major artery. His body was also riddled with shotgun pellets. The gunshot wound to this torso, was that a fatal gunshot wound? If he had never gotten this one under the arm, would that one in the middle of his torso have killed him? Yes. The doctor told jurors this picture showing Arbery's arm locked in the straight position with his wrist slightly twisted reveals he had a sudden case of a condition called Irv's palsy. He's paralyzed now, can't use that arm. Based on video of the shooting, Donahue said it appears Arbery suffered a close range or near contact shotgun blast. Still, he said Arbery was able to grab the gun and hit the shooter with his uninjured arm. But the video also shows Arbery collapsing. Donahue said Arbery was losing consciousness as he hit the ground face first. Is there anything they could have done on scene to save his life? No. Gregory and Travis McMichael, along with William Bryan, are on trial for multiple charges, including murder. Arbery's family says he was out jogging when the three white men chased him, claiming he was a neighborhood burglary suspect and they were going to make a citizen's arrest. Yet, in their own words, they had no evidence of Arbery stealing anything. Gregory told investigators they had Arbery trapped like a rat, and that's when Travis shot and killed Arbery with his 12-gauge shotgun, claiming it was self-defense. we got to get justice to make this thing right, so this kind of stuff will never happen to nobody. Defense attorney Kevin Goff once again raised the issue of black pastors coming into the courtroom. He's asking the judge to keep track of anyone from the public who comes into the courtroom to watch the trial. He also expressed concern about hundreds of pastors coming here to Brunswick, Georgia this week. He says it's all being done to pressure and to intimidate jurors. Meanwhile, Reverend Jesse Jackson was in the courtroom for a second day and he says he will be there every day this week and he'll stay longer if necessary. In Brunswick, Georgia, I'm Dre Clark for Start Your Day.